Okay guys, welcome to the fifth video of this series and the last time we created the fetch functionality where we are getting the links from the posts based on the hashtags and in this video we are going to create the common functionality. Okay, so without further ado, let's start with this. So this is the code where we left the last time and uh, we have created the, the fetching functionality, fetching posts here and I'm going to end this comment. So I'm, I will delete this print because we don't need to print anymore. So I'm going to type a comment to see uh, where I've finished this functionality. And then I want to create the common functionality. So I'm going to type this comment here. Okay, comment. And I have the URLs. So if you remember, we have the URLs here. And now I want to loop through these URLs so I can comment on, on each of them. And to loop, I have to create a for loop. So for uh, URL, URL in URLs, we want to go to each URL. So bot.get, get URL. Okay, so now we go to the URL and I want to wait for some times to load the page. I'm going to use a function called implicitly wait that is going to wait until the page is fully loaded. So just type bot dot uh, okay, Im implicitly wait and inside that I'm going to put one. Okay, now after the page is loaded, the, the post of the page or the post is fully loaded then we want to click on the comment box. So if we go to to Google and we go to the post, let's go to Instagram. And I want this to be on the uh, mobile version. So just right click and click inspect. Then you have to click this mobile uh, version here. Then click refresh. Okay, so now we have the mobile version. And for example, if I go to uh, one of these posts, okay, so I'm in this post here. After loading this post, I want to click the comment box. So to click on that, we have to get the, the path. Okay, so the button. When you see button, we are good. So here you, had, you should get the button. So just right click, copy and copy XPath, then go back and I have to find this element. So bot dot find element by XPath, then inside here we have to paste the, uh, the path, click on it. So the dot click. Okay, so now we are we clicked on the comment box. So now what I want to do, I want to check if the comments are disabled or not. Because on some posts the comments are disabled and you can't send comments on them. So uh, to check that, I'm going to create a function in the top of the script. I will go in the top below that and I will create a function uh, called uh, check, uh, no, I'm going to call it doesn't exist. And this function will get the the bot, the driver, the or the bot, and the the xpath. So I'm going to write two parameters, just uh, bot, or I'm going to call it driver, and xpath. Uh, now I want to try if this XPath does exist or not. So just type try, then below uh, type driver driver dot find element by XPath. By XPath. Then inside uh, the XPath, we have to put the XPath. So I'm going. I'm just creating a function that we can use later. And expect. Uh, and when we get an error that we can't find something, we get this one. Not such element. Uh, 
no such element exception. So if we get this uh, error message, because this xpath doesn't exist, and else, else we want to return false. Okay, so now I have to import this one, this uh, error message or error, and to import it, I can import it from selenium dot common dot exceptions import not such element mm, not such element exception okay this one so now I have imported it and I can use it here so this is the function that is going to check uh, if the uh, the path exists or not so it, it will check if it exists then is if it doesn't it will check for the error and if yes it's going to return true else it's going to return false so I can use this doesn't exist function right now and if I go back uh, okay here after we click to the comment box we want to check if it exists or not so if I'm going to use doesn't exist function that I just created and oh wait doesn't exist and inside here we have to put bot that is the driver and the xpath so here I have to put the xpath that we want so go back to the browser and I want to check if this uh, this comment box exists so just click on this selector and I want this one so if all of this part here exists then we are okay if it doesn't exist we the comments are disabled so just copy copy xpath and this is the xpath so if it doesn't exist we want to uh, print for example we want to print skipped skipped uh, comments disabled comments are disabled but this if this path exists then else we want to comment so now we're gonna create the comment part and to comment we have to click on this box first so let's get the input the text area okay this is the text area and copy copy xpath and I want to create a, a variable find uh, find text area uh, text area equal to bot dot find element by xpath and this is the text area xpath So now I want to wait the web driver. This is the uh, safer way to uh, to wait while we want to find a, a XPath or something else because when you uh, wait like with time to sleep it's going to crash or it's not going to wait until it finds this element.